Joe, a really good test in store this week. How much are you just looking forward to the physical element of going toe to toe with the French pack? Yeah, huge, huge test this week. I mean, um, La Rochelle, yeah. I mean, I've been doing the review and looking at some of the game plan. These are some of the biggest men I've seen on a rugby field, I think. So, massive, uh, massive physical battle this week. But um, I think we'll, we'll we'll play with pretty uh, a lot of endeavour and we'll try play under them, um, take the take the size out of them. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's going to be a huge physical battle, but we've got to be mentally prepared for that. And I'm sure they're prepared to stick it to us as well. So it should be a good game. And if you've got those sort of big sides, presumably as much pace as you can put into the game and move them about the park is, is the way to go. That's right, yeah. I think uh, I think tempo for us is going to be key. So whether it's putting the ball behind them, kick, chase, speed into a line out, anything like that, we'll try to uh, take the legs out a wee bit and uh, show the engine we've got. Gloucester have shown in recent weeks that you can take your opportunities. And you look at the Bristol game, a purple patch, and that was kind of all that you needed to win that game. How much is the focus on looking for more something towards an 80 minute performance yeah, yeah, yeah we really need to string together uh, a couple of 80 minute performances so from the get go we need to really be putting teams under under pressure and then and then backing it up at the end of the game as well winning the last 20 minutes winning the middle the middle half of the game as well so um, there's, there's pressure from ourselves to do that to, to, to get a consistent 80 minute performance and I'm sure uh, every Gloucester fan wants to see one as well yeah is playing at home a bit more fun now than perhaps it was at the start of the season when results weren't going the way? You sort of you feel you can use the crowd a bit more now. I guess the sounds coming out of the crowd are probably a bit more fun than the start of the season. But um, I think it, like, any chance we get to play at Kings Home, I think the boys relish, and it's just when we when we're getting the results, I guess the fans enjoy it a, a, a lot more than us uh, getting getting a negative outcome there. So. Um, look, any time we play in front of the shed, they're always passionate, they're always there, they've always got their colour on, it's always good to see. And you talk about pressure that you put on yourselves internally. There's a couple of players who've been out injured the whole season and uh, beginning to just show signs that they might be back in the mix soon. I suppose that just adds its own pressure on you of wanting to carry on performing because you know, the opportunities have been there for you. Yeah, yeah exactly. Well, it's professional rugby, isn't it? I mean, it's any professional sport, so people, people get injured, people are coming in and out and there's... There's always pressure to, to keep uh, performing at your best and um, hopefully, you know, if you can do that, it gets reflected in selection. Earlier in the season, Gloucester kind of needed this competition to kick-start a little bit of form. You yeah. go into this game with much better form. Now, can you kick on again? Can you sort of use this to take it to a new level? I think so, yeah. We, we go on with, uh, you know, we've, we've been in, in good form over the last uh, three or four weeks and then into, into this game, I mean, we're coming up against a, a much harder... Uh, opposition, I think, in, in La Rochelle as opposed to the other two European games we've had. So um, they're obviously going to be a big physical team, and they'll, they'll be, I'm sure, looking forward to this game as well. And it'll be a, a great challenge come Thursday night. Yeah, I suppose as far as deciding the group, these two games are kind of le crunch, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. So uh, look, they're, they're both both home and away. So look, we've, we've got to put in a good performance on uh, on both bits of soil. So really looking forward to it and I suppose pressure on to do the business at home because that actually might then dictate how they approach the away game. Yeah, well, it could do, yeah. I'm not, I'm not sure I'm not sure uh, what sort of team they're bringing over, but their, their recent form's been really good. So if they're coming over at full strength or whether they're going full strength at home, no matter what they do, it's going to be a tough game. So We've spoken about the strength of their pack. How do you rate their line out? Uh, not bad. There's a, there's a couple of... Uh, uh, my fellow countrymen in there that are, that are taking a lot of calls for them and things so um, I look forward to playing them if they come over so yeah there's going to be a, a good contest going there I think.